what is going on youtube it is bully bringing out a brand new video for you guys today now in today's video nine out of ten you clicked on this because you know how mentally frustrating and mentally taxing tekken could just be as a whole you know this game got so much moves over like 2,000 moves across the board right now just normally with like 30 characters we have so many knowledge checks like the gameplay in the background you're gonna see how i bring it back I bring this game back. I don't even know how with zero knowledge. I don't really know how. You're gonna be watching this back, but it's gonna be my first time actually watching this back. But this video is mainly about the mentality that you need not only to grow as a second player, but get to the highest level. Now, I did a lot of research, you know. A lot of people don't really per se use uh ranked for like a way to like measure skill, which I'm starting to like just small by small i'm starting to like get rid of that mentality because that's how it really used to be like how in like 2k just for an example like 2k the highest level was like yo bro you play the game a lot you must know a lot or you just you know etc like like different things represented a lot when it comes to the highest ranks you know but now since it's not really like that you can really lose to anybody in any game at any point with no matter the rank but my thing is is how frustrating this game really is no matter the rank like he's hitting me with nothing but knowledge checks things that don't even make sense to me things that i'm just like confused about because why why is some of these things actually happening like he's hitting me with jab jab doing a weave pushing me like i'm like yo bro what is this but like what i did research on and learned a lot uh besides them using ranked as like a a, a way of instead of looking at it as a skill measure it's viewed as a move so like practice because nine out of ten when you get to those highest ranks where everybody's at like all like the great pro players high level players you're going to be running into different matchups and different knowledge like knowledge checks different things you're going to be able to actually learn well oh that side step was crazy i don't even win this did he guess right oh he did guess right oh my god he got hit but it's just very difficult to really like think about like they are using this as like matchup knowledge they're using this as like different ways to actually figure out their opponents so when they actually get off land and they actually get hit by a move they're able to figure it out but like the mentality of this game is mainly just trying to figure out not even like how everybody else played but trying to figure out the cheesiness right now like that's how this game is coming into right now it's like how to figure out the cheesiness there's so much cheese to spread across this entire board right now so we're like it's gonna be mentally frustrating like I don't understand how frustrated I was playing against this. Like, I'm like, yo, bro, even though I am better than him, bro, like, what do I have to deal with? Like, what do I generally have to deal with? Like, I I, I don't want to deal with this 24-7. Like, why is people trying to just rob me out of things? Why can't I just use, even though I am able to use fundamentals, I'm like, why can't I just normally just use, like, normal fundamentals, like spacing and stuff to actually, you know, get people? And it was very frustrating to really think about because losing in this game is very is, is is mentally demoralizing because in other fighting games not a team you lose because you just i won't even say you don't know but like and not a team you just lose most of the time in other fighting games i lost because of just not knowing a character or something oh but if i am better than them if i am better than them my chances of winning is like exponentially like just high but in this game, I'm starting to realize that no matter what rank you are, you're able to just get robbed. Like you're able to get robbed so crazy in some of these games, and it would just it would just make you not want to play the game no more. Cause it's just like, why am I doing this to myself? You know, and the mentality, that's that that's how I was just thinking, like, like bro, why am I playing this game right now? And this game not even making sense. Like it's really not even making sense right now. And this is like towards like red rank red red oh like a real yeah, round red rank because in red rank is where i started getting my uh where like the hardest challenges started coming up you know i started running into like a lot of purple ranks you know a lot of smurfs to where they was actually forcing me to play like play like not scrubby like i had to learn how to box with king like not every king just be just be grabbing out here i actually had to learn and implement boxing with king i'm learning now i'm learning like my offensive structure i'm learning different options now but like it's very difficult to really think about because some people don't really have that like type of like scene or, or environment or even matchmaker to really just go down and start to really learn they're just hitting people with just bs and they think they're just like i'm the one i'm winning games 
but like that that's how my mentality was sort of shifting around red ring it shifted from like eh, i'm winning games let me just do what i gotta do to like i i don't i don't really know how to explain it it went from that to like all right i have to learn how to be better every single rank i'm going to learn how to be better it's going to be somebody that's using this cheese no matter which rank it is they're going to be using this cheese and when they use this cheese most of the time is is them really just know i want to say know how to use the cheese but like almost perfecting the cheese or hiding the cheese to the point to where like it's very difficult to figure out so i'm like okay it is what it is it happens you know like life is life but as i started progressing through the ranks like i said i started to pick up different techniques with king i started picking up different grabs with king a uh, king have so many grabs to where like it's very hard to really hit somebody with some of his grabs that's how many grabs you got because you most of the time you know like the different options of grabs like for example they have like i think it's forward down down forward grab that like, goes into the rolling death cradle everybody that made so many videos of hitting somebody with a rolling death cradle to the way a lot of people really know how to take it just because not because of skill not because of they went inside the lab to go practice it it's just there's so much anti king guys and tech all around the internet right now and the only people that's not being affected by this is the high level king players because in my opinion when it comes to the high level king players they go from boxing into grabbing what i mean by that is like they're gonna box you up they're gonna box you up until you stand if you don't stand you'll keep getting hit by down for one or down for two you know or they're gonna, they gonna hit you with like the mid or they're gonna launch you you know high level players really that was crazy high level players really know how to like sort of like branch off from that style of like gameplay which is which is good that's what i'm learning and that's what i'm going into but like the low levels i feel like a lot of people that was you know playing king or just really wasn't playing king or just it's very new to the game like at first i was like trying to just be cheap like the affecting like like the, the persistent ducking was really pissing me off i'm not even gonna hold y'all the consistently ducking was really pissing me off like it was one of the craziest things like, and i know why they ducking because they fear the grab it's the only reason why they would be ducking is because they fear the grab if they didn't fear the grab i promise you nobody would be ducking when i'm playing claudio nobody duck as much as when i'm playing claudio versus king like be because it's just crazy like they just they duck just because but for no real option they just duck they just they just they just figure it out yeah i'm gonna duck they just do that just because not even because they just trying to figure me out not even try to most of the time it's not even to try to even duck my high jab like they're ducking literally just to try to avoid the grab and mentally as a beginner like i'm like yo bro how do i stop this like like what what is this if i if i go for like the the cross grab right that king automatically has well not automatically have but he had built inside like his set play most of the time they fuzzy they fuzzy blocking so like they were fuzzy the, they were fuzzy the duck so that way they stand up right away just in case if i'm going for the grab it whips and they able to launch me. now i'm like yo bro not even gonna hold you mentally this is just mentally this is just not it this is this is just not it and then like i said i've been doing research figuring out from high level players that use ring more as like a use ring more as a like a a, a guide if that makes sense or tutorial like people are going to use this move with this character figure out how to stop it so that way when when it when it you know comes time let's say let's say for example right uh this match right here if if i'm learning how to play against double gen when it comes to me playing against my my friend when he tried to do like no matter who's playing double gen one of my friends playing double gen when it comes to this fight i'm gonna have enough knowledge to know that you cannot hit me with no cheap bs or, like that he's trying to hit me with or like i know the options against that so that way i'm not going to put myself in that predicament you know like i know the rock paper scissors options so that's my mentality like as of right now you know i've also watched videos with jdcr to where he explained to where he used he uses like his his winning mentality more so just like if i lose i'm just gonna go inside the lab and i'm gonna figure it out i'm gonna go inside the lab and just figure out the move that's literally what all i'm gonna do i'm gonna figure out why i lost i'm gonna i'm gonna figure out a solution and if i don't figure out a solution you know just research the solution like this that's basically what what's going on that's the mentality that you have to bring into this game now 
because like i said i'm a beginner so with me learning everything 30 like the natural games that i play don't even really have 30 characters like like street fighter i never even heard of i'm not even sure street fighter had 30 characters right now like i'm pretty sure they have somewhere in the 20. when it comes to like dragon ball most of the characters not even usable like like be for real like most of the characters are not even usable like it, it's just it's just over for them like the use of them is just literally to zero right and this is another game to where i was frustrated right i was frustrated i was trying to hit fujin it was like three o'clock in the morning and i was getting cheaped out now with me finding this replay because i was actually finding this replay so that way i'm able to just lab out like wall rain because i have a problem with wall rain to where i'm not sure when to actually stop his pressure like right there right so with me figuring out a lot of like labbing situations about how to lab how to go about labbing how to stop people from like just doing stupid stuff because they really just play like in this i want to let me put this in context they play like apes i call people apes sometimes because name a fighting game to where ape wasn't just going crazy donkey kong rampage no matter the game there's an ape going crazy it's not one game to where ape wasn't just wild so like that's my whole point like this this type of gameplay this type of ball raw gameplay to where they just pressing a lot of buttons and just knowledge checking you like i said it could be very mentally just it, it can mess you up mentally in terms of just like bro like what am i doing wrong it goes from what are you doing wrong and then once you like, get that out your system the what am i doing wrong it goes to like all right how do i stop it mind you i didn't know how to stop any of this right now i really don't know how to stop it but i'm gonna go inside the lab and figure it out and when i go inside the lab and figure it out i'm gonna figure a solution a rock paper or scissor solution to where i'm able to win off that altercation or off this interaction right but what i mean by rock paper solution is if i throw a rock you should of course know that that paper is gonna win but if they're throwing out paper i'm gonna go to scissors if they're going to scissors i'm gonna go to rock like you know there's always a rps and there's always a middle line somewhere like more consistent like solution more than the other but when it comes to that like i said it's, it's very difficult it's not going to be easy when it comes to like learning rock paper scissors like situations and like ways how to actually stop somebody from that is crazy from like actually just like beating you but when it comes to taking that transition to the high level mentality that i've been learning from like since i begin this game what the release of like tekken to like now like i'm feeling a lot more comfortable now like there's not really that many beginner blue ranks there's some people that's actually considered good in other games that they haven't even hit blue rank in this so i i managed to somehow get to blue rank like see situations like that i'm like yo bro where do i press like what what is going on like like what is going on but there's so many situations to where like i said it was just very difficult to try to figure out there's so many people that haven't even touched the the, the not even towards the high levels of rank because they're really struggling to learn this game and then like like i said i'm i'm blessed enough to do enough studying to do enough research to implement that inside my game to try to figure things out but the mentality in this game right now is uh, I'm, i might i might put it in the comments have a minute like a winner mentality my fault have a winner mentality more than just complaining complaining is a part of the game I know this because I am a COD player. I'm not even a automatically a uh, Tekken player. I'm not. I'm not a Tekken player at first. I am a COD player first. I know how frustrating things could get because after playing COD for so long, like it never gets better. So with me having the knowledge of that, you know, it's gonna get frustrating. I'm always going to complain. I'm always going to see like right here, just a button, button it to rage y'all. Like, bro, what are you doing? But like, like I said. There's always going to be like a situation to where you like this game is bad And I'm pretty sure everybody that's watching this video have got to this point to where they have said this game is bad And it's okay. I mean it happens. I mean just learning how to like deal with stuff But then don't be like this game is bad. Don't try to figure out the solution to why you're calling it bad You're calling it bad because you're getting hit by cheap stuff, right? So why don't you learn the cheap stuff? Right an example of that is everybody have been complaining about King Everybody have been complaining about dragging off Mainly King though and the reason why people are complaining about King is because of King throws right now 
after this game we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna watch some stuff we're gonna watch uh, i think one more game we're gonna watch one more game then we're gonna go and start training before this video actually ends everybody's complaining about king but they're not willing to go inside the lab and figure out these situations for example right i have seen somebody talk about uh jaguar sprint it's op especially after this buff is op i'm like op if i'm running at you and you have right space and, and punch me while i'm running even if i was to stop i get hit hmm okay the whole point of the buff that they gave me was to stop getting hit by rage arch the people would see me running in rage art right i'm like uh, i don't really see the buff changing anything because i don't really just randomly just run out at people you know i'm mainly just do it in oki i need to start doing it but i mainly do it in oki people say yo his actions are unreactable his says whatever is unreactable he has so many options out of it and i'm like yo bro i'm like yo bro i agree to where to, to an extent to where some options well, not even some options. There's only one option that's actually crazy, and that's the unblockable. I mean, the untackable throw, which a lot of characters have untackable throws, right? But it's, it's okay. It is what it is. You want to downplay because it's king, right? My main thing is, why don't nobody go inside the lab and actually figure out how to stop Jaguar Sprint? You can literally OS it. I can make a video on how to stop King too. That's what I might actually do. I might actually make a video on how to stop King. Some of King's basic moves, some of his knowledge checks, some of the things that people really struggle about, but they don't really go inside the lab and study throws. They don't. They don't. King have the most throws in the game. So why wouldn't you go handle the problem that's causing you this problem? All you have to do is take him inside training, literally go to his most, his most like co most common throws or his most damaging throws, rolling death cradle. Uh, I think King's bridge giant swing towards the wall uh his up forward two choke and i think it's tijuana twister i think that's what it's called and then his muscle buster right all you have to do is figure out the tech for those figure out when our king's using them that's all you have to do it's literally literally a study on on the awareness of the throws if you do not have no awareness you're not going to know for example right i'm gonna give this example because i keep saying for example because i have to give y'all examples because people really be like they don't really know what i'm talking about right and 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 dragon ball right and dragon ball they have a lot of uh i would say flow charty things for example if you're playing android 18 she's able to jump back and call a barrier because of the awareness and because of sometimes the space and people know when a barrier is actually going to get pulled and when you know the barrier is going to get called you, you you press a button so if i if i know we had a certain range and you about to you about to move back pull the barrier the moment you move back i'm already super dashing probably i'm either super dashing i'm probably do or do whatever button is actually required for me to do at that specific range to actually clip you out of that animation like there's certain things that people don't really like want to consider just learning like it's a flow chart sometimes with kings it's not a very difficult flow chart. If I'm next to the wall, nine out of ten, I'm gonna try to get you to the wall. But if I don't hit you with a wall, I mean I don't grab you into the wall, you're able to have you have enough frames to actually tech the throw. Now, if you have troubles teching throws, that is you because they literally tell you how to tech the throw inside of recording, inside of training. You could literally go inside training on his move list and whatever throw you have problems with, you could literally figure out they say throw or escape on the right. Let's literally say throw escape. Throw escape one, two, one plus two. Untackable. So duck. It's common sense when it comes to some of these things. Which I don't really understand why people don't really like try to figure that out. I think the main thing is that they gave Kink an overall natural buff when they mechanically buffed the game. They did not give King no buff. They they really ever gave King a buff. The only thing that got buffed about King was his throws and everybody have that fundamental buff everybody throws track you you cannot sidestep everybody's throws you actually get hit if you try to sidestep the throw so what is the problem here like what is generally the problem here king have crazy buttons his pokes is not even that good jaguar sprint is not even that good 
they really made that buff just to stop people from rage all in jaguar sprint what i do agree on is that his heat smash should be nerfed uh the damage and the range the damage by like 10 15 ish and then the range by the range is a little bit crazy i'm not gonna lie like take like 0.50 but like the range of it is like crazy but other than that i'm 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 okay with that i'm i'm okay with everything else that's possibly like giving people problems in this game like i literally made a video about how to actually take throws or like drills that i use to take throws like i even use fdx drill he gave me an example of how you're able to use this a drag for other characters if you really want like there's a lot of options that people really have inside this game and they don't have the mentality to actually get better sometimes they literally just just, just want to win right so before we end this video we're gonna go inside the lab for like a bit right like i said i was struggling i was struggling not really knowing like like a lot of things like i guess people i guess characters right but here's what we're gonna do here's, here's what we're gonna do right we're gonna choose king we're gonna choose king we're gonna choose dang king you know what i mean know what i mean we're gonna go to the run dm king you know what i mean now with king right with king right like i said the grabs you're able to visually see the grabs and then know which one to take but people don't really want to go inside the lab to actually learn because they don't have the mentality to learn they just want to win which is understandable you want to win but don't really try to cheap yourself like and staying out of point just because you're trying to win because when it comes to fighting like good players it's going to get real embarrassing because you don't have the skill or the requirements to actually keep up with them right so right let me uh take off heat Take off heat, right? Uh, and we'll go to I'm on offense, right? I'm on offense. I am chilling, right? On this move list, right? On this move list, right? If I go down, right? If I go down to like what 80, 90, somewhere around there, stick towards 100, right? Uh, 90. Actually, we could we could do. Uh. Uh. Let's let's do Jaguar sprint, right? actually no 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 let's just do the throws let's just do the throws first before we get to you know before we get uh, uh a little bit carried away right so we have those here right let's go to uh, let's say power driver right which is this right here this is the one throw his worst throw because the frames the startup frames on this throw so slow the tech on this throw too which is okay you know sometimes you don't really see the throw one plus two you have to press two buttons when you get hit by this, right? That's all you have to do and realize it. If you're getting hit by a giant swing, the opponent can reduce the damage. A lot of people don't even know you're able to reduce the damage of the giant swing literally by tapping square. This is crazy. They don't really know it. It's okay. Power up with quick input. I do it fast. You know, I, I get a power up, which is correct. But the Tijuana Twister, two throw. Self explanatory clothesline. If you get hit by if you get hit by rock bottoms, one plus two. If you get hit by tackles, you one plus two. I like, like these throws, you press one or two. This right here, one plus two. Let me let me go to his, uh, his other common throws, right? Let's try uh let's try uh the, the, the most infamous one that do a crazy amount of damage, right? That do a crazy amount of damage. Now, in order to actually achieve his uh, his, his role in death crater, right? We have to do forward neutral down down forward hold it and then you have to press one plus four right now while pressing one plus four this is what i have to input i have to input two one one plus three so square triangle uh square and triangle i mean not no, no square triangle and square and x so square triangle and then square and x that's it two one one plus two two buttons at the same time right Mind you, I have to put myself in a predicament to actually get this grab off. You can take this first grab with one. But uh, but uh, if you don't, you got to take this with a one plus two. And this is also techable. So we have three options that's techable that nobody want to lie about. Okay, got it. But like I said, two, one, and then a one plus, one plus, uh, my fault. One plus three, right? Right here. Go to tax to get it. Now, after I do that, I have to do a, a, a diamond. I had to do a diamond square x circle triangle which is one three four two and then i have to press one plus two mind you i have a specific range a specific time that i have to input implement all of these throws all you have to do is know which throw i'm going for and then tap the button the moment you see the animation nobody's not gonna learn that 
because nobody want to learn that what they want to do is just get inside the game power crush power crush or just stick to whatever they was winning with inside Tekken 7 which is how people normally think no i'm not i'm not really putting nothing past people but like just develop the mentality i'm i found the mentality like i'm chilling like i'm i'm going to learn i'm going to figure it out no matter who it is and then when i figure it out i'm gonna ask for a run back because why wouldn't i why wouldn't i ask for a run back or just go find somebody who will play the character so that way you're able to you know match up with some of the matchup models that you have but yeah that's that's just pretty much it you know that's pretty much it people really do need to develop the mentality of more so trying to win and just trying to get better in terms of just tr just trying to win i mean not trying to win but just trying to cheese to the win because if you cheese to the win you're not really gonna get better and then when somebody figure out your cheese that's all you got literally this so many games to where once somebody figured out or once i figured out they cheese what are you gonna do you can't hit me with it no more and every other option now is going to be looked at as desperation because uh you're not really trying to fight no more so so you're just trying to cheese me out now like it's not it's not really going to work in the long run but yeah that's pretty much it for this video that's what i think about mentality is like i said develop a winner mentality you know y'all need to start developing a winner mentality go inside the lab this game, I've been told this so many times. This game matters about who labs the most. If you lab the most in this game and you have the most knowledge and you're able to use that knowledge, what can anybody do to stop you? Now, granted, it is going to be difficult because there is a lot of moves inside the game, but everybody do not use 100% of the moves. Most is probably like 20% of the moves, maybe 15% of the moves. They do not use every single move. So the common moves that you're able to learn, like the, like the back one to a king, you know the duck it, you know the duck this just in case you don't press a button you know certain situations you literally know certain situations and it's easy to figure out well not easy to figure out but it's time consuming to figure out time consuming is mainly not easy but it's easy as in like you have a solution you just have to go inside training and find it rock paper scissors it's literally knowing what which to throw out like literally what to throw out so that's pretty much it for this video develop the winner mentality don't really use rank rank is going to happen you're going to get the rank I've been de-ranked like three to four times and read the purple ranks. Like, you have to just figure it out. You're going to get better. Now I'm Fujin. Like, I'm going to Fujin. I'm going to try to get Tekken Emperor soon. So, when we get there, we get there. I might make a video and give y'all tips on how I actually course through all of that. But, like I said, I'm out. Leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Make sure you follow me down below on my socials. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification bell after all of that. I'm out. Enjoy your day. Peace.